guess that everyone has seen that clip on YouTube where Josh Hami is showing Mark Ronson what his favorite amp is or sort of like his secret weapon. And that is this amp, a PV Decade. I was able to get one for like $30. They should be pretty easy to come by and I don't think the prices will spike just yet just because of that video that TV show or this video for that matter. I'm a bit skeptical to how important this amp has been for the more modern Queen sounds but I'm really interested to try it and see. I know for a fact that um, Eric Valentine said that they bought like the first decade for uh, the songs for the deaf recordings and they used it for bass or I mean they used it together with two other bass amps. In the clip Josh says that the amp sounds very wiry and I think that is absolutely true. It sounds cheap, wiry and electrical. So I picked out a few songs from the two latest albums that I think have that type of guitar sound. So I'm going to play those songs and see if we can get any close. And for some parts I'm kicking in the Animalizer which is a Big Muff type of fuss. Let's go. <laughs>
Well, I definitely think there is something to it. I got close on a few of them, at least I think. They probably use a bunch of other amps and there are so many factors, but it has that sound, that cheapish, wiry sound. So yeah, go get one if you want to sound cheap. And also watch that uh, Mark Ronson show on Apple TV. It's fantastic. The episode about distortion isn't even my favorite. The one that this amp is in. I think it's the one about auto-tune. That is really interesting. So go check that out. And also YouTube is recommending that you check out this video. Please do so. Leave a like. That really helps me. And goodbye.